The search for solid minerals gets underway at one of the many sites in central Nigeria's plateau state. It's popular with many villagers who are driven by limited opportunities and the need for quick cash. This is what God gives us. Like, like, like what I said, I think they have their oil. So even me too, I'm a, I'm a decent mechanic, but I don't have work to do now. So I graduate. Martin Fum was here all night, more than 30 feet underground, searching for tin. When found, the tin is washed, dried, and separated from dirt. It is then weighed and sold to dealers for about $18 per kilogram. But there's no local processing here, so tin is sold to companies or dealers who use it in electronics. We had the British and Germans here many years ago mining these minerals, and with the emergence of you know better technology we've been able to um, even realize that we have way beyond um, you know tin and and so on and we have lithium we have gemstones we have gold and so on in the plateau um, in the past i would say maybe about decade um, globally the resurgence of the demand for uh, minerals has spiked Nigeria has rich deposits of more than 40 minerals and is a new source of lithium in Africa, a very lucrative business amid a global supply shortage. Unlicensed mining here has not gone unnoticed as much has been ignored by authorities. It's not just a means to an end, but crucial for many people's survival. If you can see this population now, I'm telling you, if they say they close the river, eh, if you are around my area, you will not sleep. All these boys, they'll come and break your door. Eh? Give them. Don't give them your life. Is it fair? This money, as we have seen, it is the one that the Nasanba is just keeping eh, the youth safe. There is a rise in global demand for minerals, and Nigerian government says it is shifting its focus to formerly neglected mining sector to try to diversify the economy. But the government says it must first bring unlicensed operations like the ones here under control. With global demand for batteries, electric vehicles and renewable energy surging, African countries are seeking to harness large minerals deposits to drive green industrialization. But as the desperate search for minerals continues on these fields, the government says it will be bringing these operations within the framework of the law. Timothy Obiezu, Tiarti World, Joss, Plateau State, Nigeria.